WordPad is a free application exclusively integrated with all versions of Windows 7. The word processing application underwent many noticeable and improving transformations from the previous version in Vista and XP, including a stunning new Microsoft Office-like theme and the organizing new ribbon at the top. To start your free WordPad application, you can access it with the Start menu by either finding it or by searching for it, or it may be on your desktop as a shortcut. As soon as you open WordPad, you'll automatically notice a difference in the interface than previous versions of WordPad. The menu bar at the top has been removed and the toolbars were rearranged into what Microsoft calls the ribbing. Microsoft also changed the input window to mimic the look of a paper, and they also added a new file menu at the top left corner of the application's window. To insert text into the document, you can either just start typing in the virtual paper or paste text from another document or the internet. WordPad's default font is Calibri, but you can always change it in the first box in the font section of the ribbon. Just make sure you have the text selected. Changing the size of your font isn't hard. Just use these handy buttons here to decrease or increase the font size, or if you would like a specific size, use the box here. You can also format your text by bolding it, italicizing it, underlining it, striking it, subscripting it, superscripting it, highlighting it, or changing the color. Getting to know the paragraph section on the ribbon is a necessity when formatting your document. You can choose a horizontal alignment of your paragraph with these stylish icons here. In some cases, the default line spacing may not suit you, but that's not a problem because these fancy buttons here can do a lot of good for you. If you, for some reason, need to indent your paragraph, these buttons will do you good. And if you're making a shopping list, this caring switch right here will help you out a lot. And you can even change the bullet list type with this arrow right next to it. For those of you who want to customize your document's paragraphs a little more flexibly, you can always open the paragraph dialog box here and tweak some options. If you want to insert a picture of some sort into your document, you can insert a picture from file by clicking this button, copy a picture from a web page, or create your own with paint by clicking this button. You can insert the time and date into your document in many formats with this button and for advanced users you can insert an object into the document so you can access the document within that document. Pretty complicated stuff. I'm just kidding. Now we're going to go over the clipboard and editing sections on the ribbon. In the clipboard section you can cut, which basically means copying the selected text while deleting it as well, copy and paste text and pictures. With this arrow here you can have a little more flexibility in pasting your text or pictures in many different formats. If you're done with your document and it's nice and long, you can search your document for text, replace text, and select all of your text inside your document using these buttons. The View tab is the easiest tab to use in WordPad, and it's also self-explanatory. You can zoom in and zoom out, choose what shows, and choose to word wrap your document. Word wrapping basically means that all your words stay on the screen. And if you don't live in America, you can change the units on the ruler to centimeters and various other units. If the ribbon is taking up too much space, just double click on the tab to minimize it. Double click on it again to stabilize it again. To conclude this tutorial, I'm going to summarize on the quick access toolbar and the file menu. The quick access toolbar is basically your toolbar in which you can add functions from anywhere on the ribbon so you can access that action quickly. 
To add an action, just right click on it and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. To remove it, just right click on the icon and select Remove to remove it. The file menu has all your filing needs. Create a new WordPad document. Open an existing one or other types of text files. Save your document. Print your document and exit WordPad when you had enough. You can also access help if you think this tutorial sucked.